Question 1.4. The diagram below represents all the chromosomes in a cell that is undergoing normal cell division. Okay, so now we know it's cell division. We see this, which is crossing over. Okay, and we immediately know that it is in meiosis. And we immediately know that it is during prophase 1. Because prophase 2, there's no crossing over. Why does crossing over occur? Because of genetic variation. Remember, genetic variation occurs because of crossing over during meiosis, a bit, a bit, a, during prophase 1. And then the random assortment of the chromosomes, the chromosome pairs and the single chromosomes during metaphase 1 and 2. Okay, so first thing, rule, we do our labels. So that would be the point of crossing over. So this would be the chysma. Okay, this would be a chromatid. And this, these two are going to be sister chromatids. And this one and that one are going to be non-sister chromatids. Chromatids, all right? And C is the centromere. Okay, so let's see, what does it hold for us? Um, the type of cell division that is occurring in the cell in the diagram, what's well, meiosis? And you could even be more specific and say meiosis 1. The phase of cell division during which chromosomes behave as shown, well, it's going to be prophase 1. No, man. Prophase 1. Remember, there's no crossing over in prophase 2, eh? Hey? Um, give the letter and the name of the structure that attaches to the spindle fibers. Let's just see it was. It's going to be C, the centromere. Okay, um, how many chromosomes will be found in each daughter cell at the end of cell division? So all we have to do is look at how many. So you've got six chromosomes, and at the end of meiosis, you so that's two sets. So two sets equals six, so one set is going to be three. So three. That's it. End of story. Three chromosomes. You can actually write chromosomes. How incredibly easy was that?